Hey everyone, this is Rachel, and today I'm here with a new scrapbooking process video. Thanks so much for joining me here, and I hope you enjoy. If you could flick me a thumbs up, that would be super awesome, and I would love it if you would become a subscriber. You can also click on the notification bell so you always know when I have a new video up. All right, folks, let's get going. Hey everyone, I am here again with another For the Love of Homemade Kit Kit videos. Um, I normally would be speaking to you live versus a voiceover, but people were watching a movie and I didn't want to ask them to stop. So, once again, my kit for February was made up entirely of different lines of Paige Evans for Pink Paisley um, collections. So some are from really old, some are from some of her newer stuff, but a lot of her stuff goes together, which is why it really made sense to be able to make a kit from it. Now this time around, I'm using a lot of the purpley blue colors that were in the kit. I have my geometric stencil. That one, the one I'm using is the cube one from Tim Holtz, and I'm going to spray it with some pixie spray, which is a um, adhesive spray that I went outside to spray and then came back, and it just helps hold your stencils down, and it really worked quite well. Um, if you're wondering, I use. Uh, hand sanitizer to get the sticky part off the back. That was recommended by, I believe, Kathy Zilski, but I'm not 100% on that. So in this kit, we were supposed to bring in acrylic paint, but I wanted a cleaner look than that. So I'm going to my Distress Oxide in Chip Sapphire, and I am lightly doing it. And what I'm making sure is not to do it to the edge of the stencil, and that gives it that fade off look versus having a square. So I'm going to line it up across the whole way, and then I'm, I went back and did another on the left hand side just to get it that full width of the paper. And I am so happy with this, guys. I can't even tell you how cute I think this is. So I've got these three 3x4 three photos, and they're all taken at different times. They're all of my nephew um, at the Yankee Candle flagship store in Massachusetts. Somewhere in Massachusetts. I don't remember where. Um, <laughs> we go probably every year or so. Um, it's it's just fun to walk around and stuff like that. So I trimmed one photo down to fit in that frame and then I trimmed the other photo down so it's a three by three and then left the other one as a three by four because it says uh, the Bavarian village on that particular one which helps give you an idea of where it is in the Yankee Candle flagship store. And I just kind of messily piled them up. This is a, a, a photo arrangement I've been doing quite a bit lately so but it's cute and it leads to just what I'm looking for. I then take the gold heart washi tape that was in my kit and use that uh, as a shelf underneath. I did pull out my T-square ruler just to make sure it was kind of straightish and then from my Paige Evans embellishment stuff I pull out the word moments which is going to be part of my title and the word love which I'm just going to use as an embellishment. So I'm also adding a bunch of the epoxy, I'm sorry, not epoxy, enamel hearts. And then I'm also adding another one of those metal rimmed charms that is a heart as well. And I'm super excited. I'm down to one. I only have one of those charms left. I feel so accomplished having used them. And then from the washi sticker booklet, also, once again, another page out of Evan's items, I pull out that butterfly washi and then I just rip the edges off just to give it a less structured look since I've got the fading off of the stencil and I have the pile of photos I didn't really want anything super structured here so I'm looking around I know um, I want to add that charm I was considering adding the second charm but really it was just too much I had that dark blue tag, but I didn't need the words Friday Night Fun, so I just trimmed it off just for the tag shape of the top. Now, I know what I want my first word of my title to be. I want to be the word thrown, but I'm going through all of the alphas I've pulled into my kit, and nothing has an E 
and then one of them didn't have an O. So there was like it had the E, but it didn't have an O. So there is like nothing I could do. Um, and even though I pull out these Bella Boulevard wonky alphas, it also didn't have an O, but I was able to trim a Q. The one that didn't have an O in my kit, you could not trim out the Q. Um, so it was like, yeah, not going to happen. So anyway, my title is going to be Throne Moments um, because every time we go to the Inca Candle flagship store, we have to pose on the throne in the Bavarian village. It's just, it's a law. You have to. Um, it, in fact, we went a couple months ago and we posed on the throne yet again. So that is just a, uh, a necessary thing. Ms. Zanthi is poking her nose in. I'm trying out a couple of clear stickers, but um, the one I was trying and it said embrace the moments, it just wasn't going to work. So I just went back and placed that um, copper heart once again there, which is what was there originally. Uh, and then I'm going to go into the 6x12 sticker sheet. I think that's from Pick Me Up. Not 100% on that, but I think so. And I'm going to add a bunch of those to the left and the right of the photos. And it just gives like an extended shelf um, continuation of the washi tape. And I'm really happy with the way this looks. I used up all of those enamel hearts and butterflies that I've had in my stash for quite a while. <laughs> and now I'm going to finish off my layout by using some Heidi, is it Heidi Swap Gold first? No, I use Shimmers, Perry, Rip, no, hmm, Rip Vim Periwinkle. I think that's what it's called. And that is going to finish off my layout. Make sure you head on over down into the description box and check out all of the other ladies who are participating in February for the love of homemade kits. Thank you so much for joining me here. And if you could flick me a thumbs up, that would be super awesome. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.